The Chase Young to the Chicago Bears hype train is just off the rails at this point. All right. And we got to address it. So what is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking. Of course, I might have fall here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please do hit that big red subscribe button down below. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right. So as I mentioned, the Chase Young rumors to the Chicago Bears are getting crazy. Like, every time I open up Twitter, by the way, follow me on Twitter, all I see are rumors of Chase Young going to the Bears. I'm seeing, like, not even legitimate sources like uh, Adam Schefter or Ian Rapport or any of these guys like that. I'm, I'm seeing, like, these, you know, wannabe reporting fan pages, you know, with blue check marks just saying that, hey, the Bears are interested in Chase Young or they could pursue Chase Young. Again, until I see a verified, legitimate source actually talking about this i think these they are just rumors but even so just because you guys have asked me a lot of you guys have asked me i'm gonna go ahead and address it and tell you guys if it makes sense for the bears to pursue chase young so let's start with this our chase young was somebody who was drafted with the number two overall pick back in 2020 very promising player when he was drafted still only 24 years old but what has been the overall uh you know theme with chase young throughout his young career thus far, health, or lack thereof. The man just has not been able to stay healthy, has missed 22 games the past two seasons, folks. That is a lot of missed time. He played only nine games in 2021, and then only three games last season. All right, and then production, too, has kind of followed suit, and not in a good way. First season for Chase Young as a rookie, 7.5 sacks. That's pretty solid, but then after that, Combined one and a half sacks in the last 12 games for Chase Young. And I get it, right? The man was coming off a torn ACL and damaged patella tendon. But at the end of the day, you are what your production says you are. And Chase Young just hasn't been productive the last two years because of his health or lack thereof. And so why are these rumors popping up, right? Well, you might be asking, why are these rumors popping up? Two reasons. Number one. The fact of the matter is Chase Young plays a position of need for the Chicago Bears, which is an edge rusher, a defensive end. And number two is the fact that the Washington Commanders declined his fifth year option. All right, And that is important because they have basically made it known that, you know, he is not the top priority for them. They gave Deron Payne, their defensive tackle, a like big extension. Jonathan Allen got extended. And so the guys that kind of got you know, high and dry were Chase Young and Montez Sweat. And they will be free agents next season because the commanders probably won't and can't afford to pay both of them, all right? And so that is why these rumors to the Bears have popped up. Now, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about if it makes sense for the Bears to go ahead and pursue Chase Young. To me, right now at this very moment, it does not make sense to me based on solely off of price the commanders right now would have to sell chase young for the low because his trade value is so low because again he's been hurt has been productive and so you are getting pennies on the dollar i don't think the commanders will do that i don't think the commanders are a team that are looking to sell in fact i think they're looking to buy and get better because i think ron rivera probably thinks his job is in jeopardy if they don't obviously make the playoffs or improve next season. They're coming off that Carson Wentz disaster at quarterback. Like, this is a team that's looking to improve, right? They just got new ownership. I don't think they are sellers, all right? But that is the main point I'm trying to make here is I don't think Chase Young is going to come cheap. I think it is going to be a draft pick or two multiple draft picks, honestly, in players. I honestly think so because – at the end of the day, he is still only 24 years old, and he's a guy who teams are probably banking on the potential. While the Bears do have the cap space and they do have the assets, why not, if you're Ryan Poles, just go ahead and pursue Chase Young next year when he's going to be a free agent most likely? Why not just do that? So to me, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I don't think it's very likely that the Bears go ahead and go after Chase Young. Now, I could totally be wrong. But that's why we make these predictions, right? I'm giving you guys my best guess based off, based off of the information that I'm seeing. I just don't believe it makes a lot of sense to give up the assets and give up the requisite capital you need to go ahead and get a guy who hasn't shown you that he can stay healthy and has not been productive in two plus seasons. So that's why I'm not pursuing Chase Young found the Bears. I don't think they will either. 
Now, the other route, too, is you got draft picks next year, a bunch of them from the DJ Moore trade, the number one pick trade uh, from the Carolina Panthers, and you could draft an edge rusher next year as well. If you're Ryan Poles, take a cheap one-year deal with a free agent edge rusher this year and you know, kind of address that position that way instead of having to give up the draft capital when you don't have to do it next year when and if he hits the free agent market. So that's where I'm at with Chase Young, people. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it, comment down below, as always. Thanks.